The next harmonic technique I want to talk about is a little more advanced, and this is basically where we're going to use one hand to pretty much create the whole process. The right hand is going to do the whole process, the harmonics. What I mean by that is when you play a regular open harmonic, you're pretty much limited to whatever the open strings are. Um, so if you have an E, you can play obviously all the harmonics we discussed around the E string, or around the E note. But let's say I was fretting maybe the third fret on the first string. That note's a G. So I could look at this the same way. The vibrating length of this string is going to be from the bridge, in this case, to the third fret. So the halfway point of that would be actually over the 15th fret. And so it stands to reason that should be a one octave harmonic of the G right there. Now, without another hand, I'd have to do this. So what I'm doing is actually just tucking the pick away, uh, if you're using a pick in the second finger like this, using the first finger, pointing the first finger out, to basically create um, you know, what the, what the left hand was doing earlier. So the first finger is actually responsible for being over the fret itself on the string. And then th the third finger in this case is actually picking the string. So that's something you want to practice slowly if you're not familiar with that concept. So let's say I just took a basic chord, like a G chord. All I'm doing is sort of tracing the shape of that chord one octave higher. Notice I've also got my thumb down here to kind of just keep it uh, supported too. You might want to do that. Some guys do it, some guys don't, but so that's just a basic one octave harmonic there. Now let's say I just did that as a practice exercise with each of the open chords. I would take a C chord, and I'm, in this case, just playing each of the notes of the C chord slowly with that harmonic technique. And of course you have to hold the C chord in open position to get that to happen. So that's the 15, to 14, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 14, back to the 15th fret. So if I did that with the rest of the open chord, same concept, G, D, A, and E. And of course you could take that even further into scales and, and uh, things like that as well. So that's uh, right hand harmonics. Hi, I'm Eric Monge, and uh, today I'm going to try and show you how to play the lap tapping technique. The point here is this technique is mostly improvisation. For me, I'd say 75% improvisation and 25% structures. Mm -hmm. 